Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started with this week's video, I wanted to say thank you for all of your kind words last week after I mentioned that I was struggling. I saw all of your comments and I just wanted you to know that I really, really appreciated them. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make stickers from my paintings. So I will warn you in advance, I am definitely not an expert and I'm sure I could be doing things a lot more efficiently, but I'll share my current process anyhow in case you find this helpful. For starters, I start with painting. I know I could skip this step by spending more time painting digitally, um, but I really enjoy the process of painting with real paints, so I don't mind taking this extra step because it's the part that I enjoy the most. So here I'm finishing painting an orange to round out a set of fruit and berries that I started painting last weekend. I had a lot of fun playing around with a new color palette after spending several weeks using a different set of colors. And I really loved how these turned out and thought they would be great as a sticker set.
once I'm finished with my painting and it's had enough time to dry, I will scan them in with my printer scanner. I'm not really sure if there's a big difference between the types of scanners that come with printers or the standalone ones, but I've found this one seems to work fine for me, so I'm happy to use it for now. And once my image is scanned, I will open it up in Procreate on my iPad and I will use Procreate to cut out each image and put it on its own layer. Once I'm done cutting out each image and they're on their own layers, I'll import the entire file into Photoshop and finish setting up my sticker sheets there. And then once I am finished setting up my sticker sheets, I will print some test copies and get it cut on my Cricut. So this is the part where things are a little less straightforward. I'm still getting used to my printer and I do find with every new sticker sheet I always have to tweak the colors quite a bit and print out different versions um, before I'm satisfied with the result. So for these stickers, the first version came out very yellow. So I ended up making uh, several different versions um, and I also tested them out on white and craft paper just to see how the colors would turn out. If you're interested in these stickers, they will be available on my shop probably in the next week or so. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into my sticker making process. And if you're interested in checking out some of my other work, you can find it at littlecoco.co. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.